Hi, I'm Tracy Shankle, and Kim DeLarm and I run the VBS program for our kindergarten kids. Now, the kids that we have in this room specifically are going into kindergarten, and they're part of our big VBS program, but we also have groups for our staff members. So any adult staff member or uh, someone who nannies every day, uh, we have a couple of teens that are in that situation. We have a preschool room and a nursery that are run by wonderful, qualified, helpful, um, sweet, and very faithful volunteers. Our nursery this year was super busy. And then in our preschool, those preschoolers, Miss Paula and Miss Shelley, keep them busy all the time. They do all kinds of games and just have a ton of fun, lots of singing. And sometimes um, those preschoolers get to come in at the end and, and experience some of the music that the rest of VBS has as well. So our kindergarten room this year was super busy. We had 35 kids every day this year, and it has been just such a joy. We really like to keep them busy. We want them to be active. We want them to be having fun when they're learning about Jesus. Some of these kids, this may be their first exposure to the Lord, and some of these kids have grown up in church. And so no matter what, we want to encourage them to pursue a relationship with Jesus. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about our day and what that looks like. When we get here in the morning, we've got a sandbox and all kinds of fun toys. So as Philip said earlier, it kind of feels like the beach in here a little bit because we've got sand all over the floor, but it keeps our kiddos busy. We we wait in here for a little while and then we go into opening with all of the other crews and it is a wild time. Our kids love to sing and dance. Aunt Arlene has a little area section for us so our kids can stay safe while they're dancing with all the other big kids and they really, really enjoy that. After we get done with opening, we come back into this room typically. Uh, sometimes we'll stay in the auditorium and we do our Bible lesson. We want to get that Bible point driven home right away in the morning and this week our kids have learned about God is real, God is our friend, that he loves us, that we can trust him, and that he wants us with him forever. And so um, our kids have had the opportunity to really just get to know who God is and what he wants for them and that he wants a relationship with them. All right, if you can hear me, I want you to swim. Swim with your group. Swim, 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 but say put where you're at. Okay, if you can hear me, I want you to dive down deep into the water. Boys and girls, let's review our week. Monday, we learned about Elijah. Elijah loved God and he was obedient and God... No, he was grumpy. No, he wasn't grumpy. Elijah was obedient and he was God's friend. The next day was Jonah and Jonah was what, Shepherd? He was grumpy. Show me your grumpy faces to remember grumpy Jonah. Grrr. Oh, Tegan, whoa, that's a good grumpy face, Tegan. Okay, happy faces, happy faces. What did Jesus do yesterday in our story? He calmed the, he calmed the sea. Today, we are learning a story that has a little bit to do with our Easter story that we hear every year, but it's very important. Jesus, what did Jesus do? He died on the cross, right? Now, our story in the Bible tells us that Jesus made a way for people to be God's forever friend. And forever is a really long time. Forever means forever and ever and ever. It never ends. The heart, boys and girls, reminds us that Jesus showed God's love when he died on the cross. So that's our first thing that we do. We do a Bible lesson. After that, uh, we usually have some sort of hands-on craft. And um, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's little, often involves coloring, lots of messiness, but the kids have a great time. Yesterday, we, we made aquariums out of bottles of water and oil with little fish inside, and they really enjoyed that. And so it makes it look like the waves. You know how on the waves, you'll have kind of yeah, foam at the like top of the waves? When you shake up your bottle, it makes it foamy, like the waves. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is you, each of you, your teacher has some in, some stuff to put inside your bottle, okay? So the teacher will carefully open the bottle for you and then everybody can get a fish and they can have a few of the beads inside. This is really fun. You can make coral. So bend your, bend your pipe cleaner to make coral and you can put coral in your bottle. 
And then the last thing you put in is your blue dye. So we have to be very careful with it. It goes in the bottle, we close the lid, and then we can shake it up carefully. But your teacher has to close your lid, okay? We wanna make sure the teacher closes it. And then we have tape that you tape over the top and tape the whole way around. And then we go downstairs to our mission. Same as the older kids that are here at VBS, our kids are learning about our missionary, Amy Carmichael, this year. Just learning about how God used her and what she did for him in her ministry that was there. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, it sounds like there's only about five people in here. Are there more people in here? Are you, if you're in here, if you're in here, please raise your hand. <gasps> you're all here, let me hear you. Good morning. You're here now. Oh, that's so fun. I'm glad you're here. So we're talking this week about a missionary story. What is the name of our missionary? Amy Carmichael. Right, Amy Carmichael. Do you know, when I was young, I read the story of Amy Carmichael too, and it was really exciting. And when I read it, I didn't know if God was going to keep me here in America or send me somewhere else, but God has sent me all over the world. And reading the stories of Amy Carmichael and how God helped her really helped me too. God is my protector. Very good. So Miss Amy wrote a lot of books and she helped a lot of people all around the world till I read her book here in America in the state of Florida. I read Miss Amy's book and she helped people all over the world know about Jesus' love and the stories of what God was doing. And you know what? Even the leaders of the country of India saw what Amy was doing and said, you know what? We need to protect our children we need to not let them be sold in the temple. So they made laws to protect the children of India because of the work that Miss Amy did. After that, we go to snack time and we have uh, all the same snacks as everyone else. The kids really enjoy that. And at the very end of the day, we head out to the playground and get all the wiggles out before we come back in to do some dancing. So we have an action packed day for our kids. They are always busy always moving and it's been a lot of fun with 35 kids that are going into kindergarten this next coming school year. If you who are thinking about helping with Vacation Bible School but you're not sure what you'd be able to do with your child that is under the age of kindergarten, if you're helping at VBS on the days that you're helping we, we have staff rooms for your kiddos that they can be involved, they can be cared for and you can come and help out here as well. 